After 244 years, who is stopping the presses? Uh, on this question, uh, I gave you a hint. Uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. We did it for a couple reasons. Um, in putting uh, Encyclopedia Britannica in our uh, question and as a keyword and uh, in, in doing the response on YouTube with the tags uh, we wanted to include the word words Encyclopedia Britannica because they in fact uh, are a uh, have been a wonderful brand for 244 years and uh, the internet uh, has changed the way that people buy encyclopedias now so the very last edition of Encyclopedia Britannica uh, was uh, published in the year 2010. Um, it has 32 volumes in it. And uh, for all of those who, of you who have never heard of a, a Encyclopedia Britannica because you are using Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. It's uh, the folks at uh, the uh, the CEO at um, and Encyclopedia Britannica, in fact, made this statement. Uh, it's a rite of passage in this new era, says uh, Jorge Cauz, the president of Encyclopedia Britannica, a company based in Chicago, and he said this in an interview. Some People will feel sad about it and nostalgic about it, but we have a better tool now. The website is continuously updated. It's a much more expansive, and it has multimedia. So he gets it. A lot of <laughs> old old companies uh, do not, and they uh, stubbornly uh, keep on going. And that's okay. That's okay. They they created the company. They built the company. They developed the company. It, uh, they can choose to do uh, with whatever they want to do with it. Um, it as I said, it, weigh, it weighed uh, 129 pounds, the, the complete uh, set of uh, 32 books, volumes. The Britannica is the oldest continuously published encyclopedia in the English language and has become now a luxury item with a Thirteen hundred and ninety-five dollar price tag. It is frequently bought by embassies, libraries, and research institutions, and by well-educated upscale consumers who felt an attachment. Of the eight thousand sets that were printed in two thousand and ten, uh, only uh, well, only half of them were sold, and. Uh, no, 8,000 sets of the 12,000 were sold. There's 4,000 to be sold. And actually, now uh, a half a million households in 1990, in 1990, households in this country bought the Encyclopedia Britannica. Now, print encyclopedias only represent 1% of Britannica's volume. They sell curriculum products. And a half a million households pay $70 annual fee for the online subscription. Oh, it's, uh, it, it's sad to see, uh, to see this brand go. As a, as a printed... Uh, uh, as a printed uh, volume, but it, it, the cost of production of print uh, are not, they cannot compete with the ability for folks to get information online instantly right now in a video, in a video. Uh, and it's, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get a, uh, a uh, one of the last editions. Uh, my family never had uh, an encyclopedia growing up. My father uh, actually was a representative, not door-to-door, -door, but he was a representative of a, of 
an encyclopedia called Collier's. And um, he had a lot of contacts with folks uh, in education. And uh, so he decided to uh, create that resource. I remember it very well. I remember it uh, where it sat on our shelves. We only had about, uh, I don't know, 12 or 13, maybe 14 volumes. Didn't have 32 for sure. And uh, I don't think it weighed 129 pounds or 28 pounds. It did, uh, did weigh quite a bit, though, for an encyclopedia at that time. So it's, uh, time marches on, and uh, we don't go to a, 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 a printed matter anymore at, like we used to. Uh, we want to search. We want to search with keywords. We want to find information, uh, and we go online to do it, and Google now has become uh, the Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, we have created our own local search engine inside of our community, and, and uh, that's what our keywords are all about. Those are the keywords that move you around the community and identify uh, members of the community by the keywords that are in their complementary uh, community marketing profile. Encyclopedia Britannica, you did a wonderful job. Oh, you probably still hard. I haven't seen your name in a long time, but uh, after 244 years of uh, publishing uh, an encyclopedia, uh, thank you for, for all the great memories.